Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to basically develop hand independence and using very real world musical examples, a composition which I've created with some nice chords. So first off, we'll have a melody in the right hand, which you heard in the intro video. And then we are going to add a lot of flavor in the left hand to support the melody in the right hand. With chords. With chords with a very unique rhythm pattern. We are going to have all this notated for you. It will be handwritten for the most part. We will also notate it wherever we can. And it will be available on our Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Jason Zach. And on that you will find all the handwritten notes of this lesson. Stuff we have done in the past. There are quite a few hundreds of uh, lessons which are waiting on Patreon. And um, also stuff we are going to do in the future will continue to be on Patreon. So do consider being a member and you have different tires there to choose from as well if you'd want to upgrade it and so on and so forth. So let's get cracking with the exercise guys. Before we do, it'll be great if you could subscribe to our channel by hitting and hitting that bell icon for regular notifications. Let's go. So let's learn the melody first. I've chosen it on the D minor scale. Okay, and the tune is very simple in the right hand. We can learn it together. It'll be nice if you could, if you don't have a keyboard with you right now, perhaps pause the video, get a keyboard, practice with me uh, and stay till the very end because you'll have to keep growing. And after the lesson is over, you can kind of, Adapt this on your own, take your own time, do it over a week or two or more uh, at your own leisure, but try to get the exercise done. So as I'm explaining, it'll be good if you practice along. So, melody. So you could play it like that. Could probably bring back your middle finger to the G. Or cross your thumb like this. Right? So. Or. Bring back your middle like this. Okay, so that's your melody and we will make, we won't change the melody throughout the lesson. Now coming to the left hand. Uh, the, the first thing I'd like to do is just introduce just this three minor cluster, three note minor cluster. You can play it even lower, that'll be nice. Okay, just D, E and F. But before we do that, it'll be nice. So I'm going to develop stages of hand independence in this lesson. And if you're used to our channel, you'll find that we've done a lot of videos on hand independence. It's the most important subject if you think about it for a piano player because everything else is data information and stuff you concepts from a, a theory book which you execute on a piano like how to play a chord but hand independence is something you just have to keep doing and that's why on this channel we focused a lot on this on the concept of getting one hand to do something and the other hand to do something else and the best way to improve your mindset with regards to that is to practice hard or at least practice one hand really hard and then the other hand can kind of uh, think and be creative while the hand which has practiced hard can kind of be in autopilot mode so the left hand let's first start with a pulse just a root of the scale so So, assuming the right hand is playing eight notes for the most part, except the last one, which is the sixteenth, ta ta ta, tum ch, tum ch, tum ch, tu tu tum, tum ch, tum ch, tum ch. Now the left can just start with the root. Playing pulse. <clears throat> now 
Now with the pulse you can kind of also grow this by doing root and octave toggle that would be nice. Pushes you to think a bit more, right? Now you can even toggle with other notes like the fifth. Or what I like is the is the third, the minor third since we are on minor. All on the pulse. By pulse I mean crotchets, quarter notes or the way the head of the listener and the musician you playing it would move, right? Your head goes whether you like it or not. So that's what you need to first execute in your left hand to develop hand independence. And now moving forward, you can also try doing eighth notes in the left hand. That's quarters. That's eighths. So eighths are almost the same as your right hand. Quavers. As they are also called. Toggling with the minor third. And you could toggle between quavers and crotchets or quarter notes and eighth notes if you will. So, pulse. Then, eighths, quavers. Dividing the pulse by two. Now, back to pulse. So that's the first thing you need to practice, the pulse and then the speeding up pulse. And uh, don't, don't forget to also practice the pulse but played a lot slower. So that would be minims or half notes. For some reason that can be a bit tricky as opposed to quarters which are quite easy actually once you get it. But half notes take a little bit of thinking. So you could actually toggle between all these levels of beat division. You're going on the beat, the way the listener's head is moving, one, two, three, four. Then you're dividing the beat by two, quavers or eighth note, that and two and three and four and longer than the pulse, which goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, So you could start with that and then now let's do a few rhythms. Instead of just doing toggling, we can just do one, two, three. The one, the major two and the minor third in the left hand. So bum. And the rhythm I have for you is first of all, a two quavers and a crotchet. Dum, 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 dum. So. Now you could do this with Sare Ga or 1, 2, 3 flat or 1, 3 flat and a 5 which is essentially a minor chord played as this bass line. Right? So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. So at 2 you play a crotchet and 2 and three and so one and and three and will be quavers or eighth notes and the two and the four will end up being crotchets or pulse notes or quarter notes and the note choices you can do would either be one two three one three flat five or you can even expand it and do one five what i like to do what we call as spread chords which is one, five, and flat three on the top. So, <clears throat> so practice all three, or at least the first two if you can, which is chord. Spread chord. Now 
now we can progress from this rhythm 1 and 2 to the end of the 2 and later on the end of the 4 so pum 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 so you're trying to squeeze three notes basically into four four subdivisions that's one and two and four sub beats you're trying to squeeze three notes so one more way to per, uh, create a permutation would be pum 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 one and two so practice Now you feel the independence being a bit more tricky, right? So you want to get this first. It should be at the back of your head. It should be like very, very subconscious. One and so. Chord. Spread chord. What are the other options? You don't have to do one and two or two and you can do one, two and one. Dum bum 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 bum. So Another uh, pro another challenge for you on the hands. In fact, when I started talking, you saw I made a small mistake there. So it's not very easy. You need some practice. There we go. And certain points of the exercise will be tricky because the melody is fixed. Your left hand is not fixed. It's changing. So one. Two and three, four and there we go. So again, we are starting on the one, and we've pretty much covered all. We've done one and and two. We've done one, two. And end of two, we've done one and and the end of two as well. Then you can always challenge yourself further by doing one and two and three and four. And you can do start the next one at the end of the three. One and two and and four and one and two and four and so you're kind of doing it differently. One and two and and four and. go mix mix it up as well see what you can do right so this is all using pretty much quavers or eighth notes to build up your hand independence now i have a couple more variations before we uh, are done with the lesson that will you may be guessing it use 16th notes instead of quavers or uh, eighth note. So with sixteenth notes, you're gonna count one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a right four e and a one e and a two. So if you wanna catch stuff, one e and a two, one e and a two e and a two, boom, boom, So you're gonna access more subdivisions. So one nice thing to practice is the thresio, uh, a very famous salsa or a Latin pattern which goes something like this. A two beat phrase, so one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e. So, <clears throat> so if you want to get this independence, it's going to take you some time. One thing I would suggest is see if you can sing the melody which you're eventually going to play in the right hand. So, and so on, right? Apologies for my sore throat, but I think you can do this much better than me, at least at the moment. So, ting, 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 ting. Once you finished singing it with the thresio pattern in the left, you could attempt playing it. Playing and singing would be nice, you know. So, chord, try in 
the left hand spread this is the pattern quite groovy on its own right anyway that's the tresio so i have one more 16th note pattern which i ended up uh, coming up with the exercise so i have one more 16th note pattern which uh, which which we'll sign off the video with which goes 1e and a 2e and 3e and a 2e and a 3e so 1e and a 2 1e and a 2 you're on of the 2 1e and a 2e this is the deal very different than playing eighth notes right there we go that's how it sounds in isolation with the chord spread So these are pretty much the patterns, and one more variation if you like to do. Pumped, pa pumped, pump, pa pumped. One e and a two e and a three e and a. F. Instead of starting it, start re repeating or copy pasting it, you can do it at the e of the three. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. A. And I'm ending with a five with an a just for fun. So a few melodic and harmonic embellishments we can do, or uh, just to close out the exercise and make it sound musical, make it something like you could play at a gig, hopefully. So first off, in the right hand, you could do stuff like. You can do thirds. You can add some harmony. If you want to play the natural minor, you could end on C. Harmonic minor, you could end on the C sharp. Harmonic, natural, right? With the rhythm in the left. could spice things up you could also add like a chord progression in the left hand like b flat c major stuff like g minor b flat major c c major the spread versions of the chords do the tresio if you want then you can kind of improvise Improvise on the notes, but don't change the rhythm structure or the rhythm pattern. If you can, right, and um, feel free to also transpose it to a few scales. If you're working on your piano transposition skills, feel free. Like you know, you could do or try to 
fool around and move it to different scales. So we've added some harmony in the right hand, the potential to transpose it, different chords. So you can find some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, most of the stuff in the uh, notation which we have for you, my handwritten notes on Patreon. And um, like I said <clears throat> at the beginning of the video, we do a lot of videos on hand independence. So do consider checking out a lot more videos on hand independence and I'm sure in those videos my voice won't sound this bad. I was very excited to do this lesson, didn't want to take a huge break so you'll have to deal with my sore throat throughout the lesson. But yeah, do check out some of the other hand independence exercises and if you'd like more structured learning at our school, you could consider filling up a form uh, or going to our website nathanielschool.com and accessing our video courses for a one-time fee you can get structured video lessons and you can also learn with me in person we have virtual courses where you can choose an hourly or a set of hours over six months and join our school not just for piano even for vocals guitar and more right guys thanks a ton for watching the video again this is jason zach from nathaniel cheers